Let's teach you how to dip. Hello humans and welcome back to the Tao Wei. I'm Antonio and we're in part three of a four part series of how to muscle up. So if you missed the previous videos, we had part one and part two. Part one we did the false grip phase and then part two we did the transition phase. If you missed these videos, you can look in my description. You can click those videos, watch those, and then come back to this one we'll be, where we will be doing part three, which is going over the ring dip. Now this is the, uh, the third phase, the final phase actually, of actually doing the muscle up. And we have some prerequisites to hit uh, before you start on this video. So number one would be a support hold. We are going to be doing the dips on the parallel bars and the rings. So if you're going to be doing the dips on the parallel bars, you'll want a 60 second support hold on the parallel bars. If you're going to the rings, then you want a 60 second support hold on the rings. So if you want to see a tutorial on how to do the support hold, I have a video on that as well. It'll also be in the description down below. And the second prerequisite is you need to have multiple sets of at least five reps of a push-up and this push-up should be at a tempo of 3-0-x-1 so a three second eccentric, zero second pause at the bottom, explode up and then a one second pause at the top. Very good control, very good quality and then we can move on to today's video. Also the reason that I'm sitting down is because I, re I recorded this video before uh, going through the dip but I, when I watched it and I was editing it, I wasn't happy with it, so I deleted that footage and I'm making new footage, so uh, I'll be sitting down talking to you like this. If you like this style, let me know in the comments down below and uh, maybe I'll make more like this. Okay, so now that we have the prerequisites down, we have uh, multiple sets of at least five push-ups with that tempo and that quality, and we have a 60 second uh, support hold on either the parallel bars or rings. We are going to go into four different exercises uh, the ending will be the ring dip. We're gonna start on the parallel bars because the parallel bars are more stable. The rings are instable, which is a good thing, but starting out it can be too much at this time. So the first thing we're gonna do is on parallel bars, we're gonna be doing something called a mechanical advantage dip eccentric. So let's go to that video now. So here we're gonna be doing a mechanical advantage dip negative. So you're gonna come down with no assistance, just like you see in the video nice and slow about three to five seconds. Then when I get to the bottom position, I'm gonna hold for about a second, put my toes on the ground and use as little assistance from my toes as possible to push back up. I hold the support for one second and then I continue again. So a good uh, tempo would be three seconds down, one second pause at the bottom, explode up but with minimal effort from the foot and then a one second pause at the top. So for this one here, we'd want to do anywhere from two up to five reps, and we want to rest between the sets of 60 to 120 seconds, and we want to accumulate at least 10 reps up to 20 or 25 reps in a total session. So once you can do this and you're pretty confident here and you can get up to three, four, five uh, reps of this with good control on the eccentric, then we can move on to the second stage, which will be uh, just regular dips on the parallel. So let's go there. Once you can do sets of five with the mechanical advantage, I think you are ready to try the dip. Uh, and from the dip, we don't have any real difference in technique apart from we're not using the foot anymore. So it's still a second pause in the support, then we lower with control about three to five seconds. We have a slight pause in the bottom, and then we explode up without those feet again, and this is the full dip. You wanna make sure the elbow stays in the same line and you're going as deep as possible. You want to do the same amount of volume here, so anywhere from 10 up to 25 total reps. You can use the same uh, rest and the same rep scheme as the previous exercise. Once you can get anywhere from 3 up to 5 reps, then I would say you're ready to move over to the ring. But before you do that, uh, we're going to go into an exercise that is an intermediary. So if you're having trouble going from the parallel bars to the rings, you can use this next exercise, which is a mechanical advantage ring dip eccentric. Now we're going to be doing the same mechanical advantage negative dip that we did on the parallel bars, but now we're going to do it on the rings. And there are a few things to keep in mind. The support is going to be a little bit different. You will see that I am turning the rings out at the top, 
and the rings are going to be more unstable than the parallel bars. So I recommend that you have a ring dip on parallel bars before going here. You may not need this step, you may be able to go directly into the ring dip, but I'm including it in this video as a step if you're having trouble from parallel bars to rings. Okay, and finally, like I said, some people can skip that previous one. You can uh, go straight to the ring dip, which will be the next option. Now we are finally into the full ring dip. Now technically speaking, this is the same as the previous progression, so I'm going to go in how to program. So you want to do anywhere from 1 up to 5 reps, and you want to get anywhere from 10 up to 25 total reps within a session. So uh, you can do this by sets of 2, 3, 4, 5, and um, you want to be resting about 60 up to 180 seconds between your sets. Alright, so just like I said, you want to do anywhere from 1 to 5 reps on this ring dip. You want to make sure you're locking out that top, that's very important, and going as far down as possible. The further you go, the easier it's going to be when you actually do the muscle up. If you're ending at only 90 degrees, then you're going to have to pull that transition to 90 degrees or you're not going to be able to pull it. So if we can uh, go all the way down to where the, the, the hand touches the shoulder, it's going to be much easier when we go into the, the muscle up. So here you want to work up to 5 reps in the dip. If you have 5 reps already, that is excellent and you are on a good pace to do your first muscle up. So that is how to ring dip. If you like this video and found it helpful, you can click the like button. It helps to share the video with other people. And if you want to see next week's video, subscribe. And next week's video will be connecting all of these pieces. And I'll teach you what exercise to do to actually do the muscle up. So we have all of the individual isolated pieces, but how do we put it together to eventually pull our first muscle up? If you want to see that, subscribe. And that's the session.